Holy shit. Holy shit. Look what Tia found. Hold on. Look, look make that face again. <laughs> what is this? What is it? Oh my god. Wait, let me get a filter. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my god. Sir, how long have you been in here? Throw this out or throw out all the corals because we found a pest? Throw out all the corals. <laughs> you know what? That is probably one of the nastiest, biggest ones I've ever seen. We should keep it. Look at this thing. He was. What was it? He's just living. He just wants to live his best life. That's a really big one. Oh my god. Guys, look at this thing. It's actually so big, it's beautiful. Let me get a measuring tape. Let's see. I wonder if anyone out there, comment below. Have you ever seen a bigger bristle worm? Bristle worm or fire worm? Bristle worm. Yeah. Um, I also want to know how bad that hurts. So let me, hold on, let's see. Have you guys seen the shorts of the guy who touches stuff? Here, let me put my finger in it. Ow. Let's see. And then he goes, um, uh, five minutes after. This is what I'm feeling. Okay, so I got some nice bristles there in my finger. Hopefully you can see. Check it out. See that? See the little bristles? Look what I do for you guys. Okay, I'll give a couple minutes. I put some bristles in my finger. Yeah, that's bristles. No, I want people to know what it feels like. We'll see. We'll give it a couple minutes. Look at the bristles. Look. See? See them? Oh, yeah. It's annoying. Okay, it's kind of burning. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it's definitely bristle. It just bristled me. It's pooping everywhere. It's a pooping bristle. It's a bristle worm who just had Indian food to poop. Right there, that long brown thing. That's its poop? It just, it came out of that just came out of that? Yeah. No. I feel like he's going to eat someone. I should have got that. What do we do with it, guys? Comment below again. Is this the biggest one you've ever seen? You gotta get rid of it. No, somebody out there wants it. I, there's that one customer who likes weird stuff. Pull it out by the tail. And we'll check. Oh, crap. Tia said, I don't know why you want to share with everyone. Because it's cool. It's part of the hot... Ooh. 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 Let me show you guys the good and the bad. We got nothing to hide here. That's true. The frag box. Okay. Well, I mean... Uh, one, two... That's some... B big worm energy. Go hold on, get stretch out again. Go, go, stretch, stretch. He's getting shy. No, get, he was like, he was way longer. Hold on, make him stretch. Is this animal cruelty? Yes. Okay, go, go, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and a half, ten. Ten and a quarter. Ten. Ten and a quarter. Wow. No, yes, but I don't want him to eat them. So if you ever want to get rid of these, you see them in your tank, add one of these. That's why we sell them. Uh, they're actually a lot of fun to watch them eat. That's so cruel. This is maybe too big. He he's still, he's gonna, no, it's cruel. Ah, 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 he's gonna eat it. That's what he does. Okay, okay I feel okay. bad. It's still okay. living, it's still living. Leave it, leave it with the, yeah, leave it somewhere. Okay, if you're watching this and you want a free massive bristle worm, they eat detritus. He's gonna go through the sand. He, is he gonna bother stuff? He might he's bother you. He's gonna bother your fingers. Yeah, I don't know if they're 100% safe at this size. ID on it. Definitely bristle worm. You think? Yeah, definitely bristle worm. We're going with bristle worm. Um, whenever you dip corals, if you dip corals, if you're going to add them to your tank, this is what we use here in the shop. Two little fishies revive. Great stuff. Um, you will see a lot of them come out. But you'll also kill good stuff like bristle stars. And what else would be good? Copepods, amphipods, there's some flatworms that are actually beneficial. So this stuff is really effective, but the only downside is you're going to kill the good and the bad. In other news, look, this tank is empty. So what Tia was doing when she found it, um, she was just cleaning up this tank because we have new corals coming tonight from Indonesia. It's going to be 100 and... no, 200, almost 200 new ones. So this will be all filled up nicely. And where was he? He was just underneath that? Just under. Okay, why do we have these in the tank? I'll explain to you really quick. I like things very clean here in the shop. Sorry for the blueness too. I'm shooting on my new Samsung Ultra 22. What did I get? 22? 23? That's your 22. So <laughs> naturally everything in the tank is going to get covered with Coraline, kind of like this. And it turns purple. And it's kind of cool when you have a tank like that set up. You know, we want the purple, it looks nice on the rocks. But when I'm taking photos, the black is a lot better. So what we do is, here's my little secret. If you own a store and you're watching this, we have these acrylic sheets that have been cut just to size. So every couple weeks, what we'll do is we'll flip them. And so the Coraline dies. This is old. Be our acrylic model for the day. This is old, full of Coraline. 
This is new, shiny new and black, and it just adds a lot of nice contrast for the corals against the black background. I have it in this tank. We have to still set it up on that tank, and that sucker was living underneath. He was living his best life. These are one of my favorite. Oh, what did you find? Oh, They're look at chitin. this. Today's all about pests. No, these aren't pests. These are really good for the tank, actually. Not pests. Good stuff. And they have the strength oh. of God when they hang on. What is that? What else did we find? Stomatella. Stomatella. That's my, wait, this one? So that's other stuff this again that the dip would kill. Let's see, put them in the sunlight. Let's check it out. Who are you? Hey, if you've never been to Toronto, this is what it looks like. Actually, we're in a suburb, it's called North York. What are you, sir? I can't see. Small snail. Uh, we say usually when in doubt, throw it out. Um, but I don't like throwing out living things, so we have a little bunker here in the store and we actually save them. Oh, look at that. Closed Mondays because we're so busy shipping. Anemones on fire. Okay, my finger is burning a little bit right where it stung me, but not bad. It's gonna like subside in a couple minutes. That's it. We're gonna wrap up today's video on Tia finding a very weird pest. I was gonna make a YouTube short, but I thought, you know what? Let's make something else out of it. You want one of these tanks? Hmm. Well, we are sold out until later this summer. Actually, we are sold out of every single Reef Casa model of aquarium. If you got one, you got one. I was not expecting them to be that popular. Went through a couple hundred of them and that's it i guess it's kind of a good problem to have because we have no inventory which sucks because we can't sell them but it means that they all sold and this guy is still bleached even after me feeding him spot feeding he's not recovering the way i expect him to the other ones are looking really good okay we're not going to do a talk on this tank we're going to say goodbye and we'll see you guys back here on the unboxing video that we're going to do on the new shipment when it comes in this evening thank you for watching this weird episode of fragbox tv bye for now